Sagittarius, Sagittarius, ooh, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, A, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Al, Sagittarius, Sagittarius, ooh, what's up, fire babies? What's up, gang gang? How are you? Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. If this is your first time here on my channel, hey, I'm Mocha. Also, I would like to thank everybody so much for, um, the likes, shares, the subscribes, the comments, the love. I truly appreciate it, okay? I receive it, I receive it, I receive it all. I'm thankful, I'm grateful for you all. And I want to say I love you back and thank you very much. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, I make us a little. I make us a lot. Just depends on what the hell these cards say, okay? But I don't like cuss. So if you don't like cussing, this is not your channel, okay? So we're going to give y'all. A little moment to clear the air now, okay? Um, this is just a general reading from the mid month of June until the 30th of June 2018. Um, this is general. I do offer personal readings, I'm not 100% booked, so I'm open for bookings. Uh, generally, the wait time is anywhere between 24 hours. I don't really do 48 unless I got something majorly to do, but it's usually my wait time is within 24 hours if you, unless you do the same day, okay? Um, it was something else I wanted to say, but it'll come back to me because brain for it, all right? <laughs> so this is for my sun, my moon, my rising, and my Venus um, of Sagittarius, okay? And my cross watches, all right? So we feel about I like my intro, so let's get it. Um, if you need a personal reading, that information can be found in the description. Also, that's what I was going to say. Um, my little boo boo, Bridge, she has a, a online store for Instagram. It's called Natural Market, all right? Y'all, please go check it out. It's at Natural Market, and that information can also be found in the description. She has a lot of nice things, bundle deals, all kinds of beautiful things, all right? So, y'all go check her out. She popped it, all right? Let's get it. All right. Oh, goodness. I'd already shuffled. Experience in the shuffle. So, let's get it next for my son, Lord. Cross watchers of Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Okay. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Oh, what's up, y'all? I've been recently getting enlightened on Sagittarius energy. And, um, y'all some beautiful people. The ones I know have been quite positivity mocha. Interesting, okay. Um, but Saggy women, we all rock. We, we we like gang gang. We be here. Um, Saggy men have taught me some great lessons in this life, and I gotta say, um, I ain't gonna lie, most grateful. I didn't have that perspective maybe four years ago. Hell, not even maybe two years ago. But I've grown, and I ain't gonna lie, dealing with life, oh, real life stuff. Have taught me that it's all about perspective, and I feel like Sagi, I feel a lot of energy even before I even lay these cards. Cut again, okay. All right, before I even lay these cards, that a lot of y'all are some of y'all are in the gray space. Y'all have a happy family, y'all feel with y'all family for a while. Maybe there might be a slight issue with the communication, but there's something in your past that you're missing or that you're thinking about. And I'm not going to say it's like an obsession, but I'm going to say that though you have this energy of like this to my past, there's also this like slight optimism as well. Um, and so I'm feeling to tell you, Sadie, but I feel like the optimism when you begin to move forward into um, moving on your path, the optimism has the tendency to turn into fear or doubt or um, something tied to negative thinking. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, what if you don't go your way? Or what if, what if, what if, you know? Well, what if things work out? What if you can actually reconcile and get some closure? Or what if you can reconcile and grow with this person now, the new them that you were getting to meet? What if you meet them or you go backwards and you get to know that, oh, damn, y'all, yeah, we, we, we here now. You know what I'm saying? Perspective and acceptance and acknowledgement, Sagi, um, is what I feel to say. It's 444 and I feel the, that means something to somebody, all right? If you've been seeing 444 a lot, look up, um, your angel is trying to tell you something, all right? And I was going to tell you, but I feel that because your energy is around Jupiter, 
um, a planet of expansion, okay? The great enlightenment, the philosopher. Um, it's for you to go and enlighten yourself, all right? Look on your cat, I'm gonna give you so much, but I'm gonna do what they say, because, you know, <laughs> they keep me going, all right? <laughs> they keep me from snapping and popping, Saggy. You know about that snap pop. You know, we real loving this fire signs. Ooh, we pop, baby. We pop, baby. Let's rock. <laughs> That's for my sun, moon, rising, and Venus. And cross watches. So Sagittarius from mid one June to the end of June. What do you have for my Sagittarius? What do they need to know? Alright. What do they need to know? What can you expect? Okay, you want to come? What can you Sagittarius expect? Some of y'all seeing them seven sages. It's two sevens in your reading. Let's rock. All right. For Sagittarius mid June, a lot of you will be in a place of um, kind of healing. You're going to be in a place of, um, I, I would want to say a meditative state, but uh, for some of y'all, some of y'all may be coming out of a meditative state now or it may just start it, but mid month June, you're going to be closer to spirit than you have ever been before. Okay, honey. I do see a lot of y'all are going to be healing after uh, some type of deception, uh, some type of deceit comes to light uh, regarding that next full moon, that cancer full moon, possibly regarding the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But some of y'all could be healing from possibly a family situation with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or for some of y'all, I feel like maybe y'all are or have been in a meditative state after some form of like betrayal, okay? Possibly having to do with the family situation, okay? I do see for some of y'all, the sign of Aries is very prominent. I don't know if some of y'all have an Aries from the past that maybe um, you've been kind of in your head, maybe not sleeping, kind of like really kind of, I feel like there's somebody's keeping an eye on this person, and I feel like it's on both ends. Both of y'all, I feel like, are keeping an eye on one another, okay? I do see it's a, a fire sign that's very prominent outside of you because here you said you the king of wands, here you are, and on top of the king of wands, I have the emperor, okay? And I do see some of y'all are in a meditative state. For some of y'all, you were dealing with the Aries from your past, okay? For some of y'all, y'all, the intention behind this, okay? And for some of y'all, it's definitely an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like Y'all are going to be in a meditative state possibly after being in your head. I feel like you're trusting your intuition, okay? For some of y'all, y'all could be deciding if you want to continue nurturing a family situation with an air sign. Uh, and you may also have a family with someone from your past who's maybe an Aries, okay? So you have a decision to make. Um, Sadie, who are you going to give your love to? Well, this could be external to you, okay? Um, this could be an air sign with you and another fire sign, all right? I do see, um, I also see the earth sign. You could also be healing in a meditative state, okay? And you could possibly be dealing with the earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, okay? Maybe you're going to, in this case, I'm feeling that somebody's going to be left out in the cold. And maybe this is what you like. You all, you want everything to be fair. However, you know that everybody can't sit at the circle, at the winning circle, Sagittarius. Pretty much, okay. I do see some of y'all don't know um, with this fire sign or this air sign if you want to continue nurturing a relationship or if you want to walk away. I feel like with this air sign, y'all have been through a bunch of deceitful situations, but you stay because you have a family with this person. However, you're noticing that a lot of past people are coming about, and it's only happening because you're sitting in your power, Sagittarius. You've been nurturing yourself. You've been um, pretty much watering your emotional grass. You've been actually 
nurturing your emotions, actually trusting your intuition, actually moving towards fulfillment and moving towards the things that you want, not that other people want for you. And so a lot of y'all have this energy of fuck my past, but again, it's again that optimism. And I feel like it's very prominent within Aries or another Leo uh, Sagittarius like yourself. Um, I do see that you've really been in your head about it because ultimately you want to offer this person a, a cup of love, a page of love, okay? You want to offer them, there's a loving energy here, but some of y'all don't know if you want to move forward with it or you just want to say fuck it, okay? And that's pretty much the, entry, the energy that's kind of contradicting, um, contra well, it's kind of a contradicting energy because some of y'all just want to say fuck it and some of y'all want to move forward because y'all feel like, okay, I've, I've healed from the actual betrayal. I've grown. I'm in my power now. Maybe I can deal with this differently, okay? And I feel like some of y'all have tried it before, but maybe you're, like, optimistic on how it's going to go, you know, like moving forward now, um, your dealings with your past. It's definitely a past earth sign, um, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, or a uh, fire sign Aries Leo Sag. Or a air sign, Gemini Leap Aquarius. Nice right, spirit, please show me the four of swords. What is the rest of four of swords here for Sagittarius? The page of swords. Okay, so some of y'all are in meditative state, some of y'all are in healing mode, but during healing mode in the middle of June, y'all still gonna be stalking. I feel like you're watching this person, and I also feel like this person is watching you. I feel like the stalking energy is mutual, baby. Okay, that's all right. Stalk the one you love. Ain't nobody stalk me. If you love me, stalk me. I don't give a damn if I blocked you. If you know where I live, you better pop up. Leave a note on my car or some shit. The fuck? It's worth you worth it. You worth it, Sagi. <laughs> why is this ten of swords here? The eight of pentacles. So I feel like something that you've been working on is something that's been in progression for the last eight years, eight months. Um eight weeks that could have occurred, okay? I feel like you found out some information, something that you wanted to work on that's leaving you feeling stabbed in the back of the train. It much you you want to find out some. And I feel like it has to do with something you've been working on. Yeah, I feel like it could be regarding a third party situation with the family situation, okay? It could be uh, also involving a, um, a earth sign, the Virgo Taurus Capricorn, Yourself in a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Spirit, please clarify this April. Why is this April here for? Okay, two, two cards fail. Right, Sagi, I feel like a lot of y'all are, <laughs> a lot of y'all are being, a lot of y'all are being patient, okay? And because I feel like with, especially if you're dealing with the Aries, okay, or Earth sign, Okay, or maybe this person where you have this in your chart. I feel like a lot of y'all are being patient. Y'all staying grounded and just focusing on what it is that you're trying to work on. I feel like a lot of y'all are wanting to not really start first, but kind of start over, start anew. Some of y'all, this is somebody from the past. Maybe it's betrayal situation. Maybe you feel like, I don't even fucking know who you are. Like, I don't know who you are at all. You showed me somebody completely different than you did what you did. So, if I, I love you. I won't fool you like that, but... Before we move forward, we gotta move very slowly, okay? Especially if you're dealing with the earth energy. This person is very practical, but this person is definitely, I feel like this person makes you feel in your power. They're very, they ground you. They bring out, um, they ignite that passion to want to be patient for them. I feel like you look at this person as, um, if you're a female, you look at this person as your emperor, okay? You look at this person as someone who, you can actually build with, you can grow with, and you feel like you need to be patient and actually have faith in the union, but some of y'all in y'all head about it. Spirit, please clarify the nine of swords. Whoa, Tower. Okay, so it's something that you don't know that's going to come to light. And I feel like some of y'all, y'all holding on to a secret. Some of y'all feel like been holding on to this secret for maybe eight weeks, eight months, eight years, but you do know that in order to move forward with whomever this is, you're going to have to face some type of betrayal. Look it in the face and deal with it in order to move forward. But it's definitely, um, it's definitely possible to move forward with that for sure, for sure. But there is going to be a time moment, possibly around this next full moon between the 26th and the 29th of June. Spirit, please clarify the seven of the cups judgment. Okay, so a lot of y'all going to have to revisit y'all past, and we'll be having your past revisit you, but it's time to. 
end cycles to begin anew with possibly someone from your past. This could be a water sign. This could be an earth sign. Everybody's here saying you water, earth, air, and fire. Okay? You know your life better than I do. Spirit, please clarify this king of wands, my babies. Sashes. The five of pentacles. Yes, Eddie. This is someone who either, this could be a fire sign. If it's a fire sign, it's somebody who either you left out in the cold. Um, or maybe you feel left out in the cold by this person. You feel like you missed not on something. Or maybe they feel this way about you, Sashes. But I do see clarity in yours if you choose to be patient, okay? And talk. Don't stop, okay? They go on with talking with you nowhere. Yeah, you might find some shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I understand. I'm totally just talking for my love, but there has to be some action outside of the stalking. Okay, if you ain't stalking to gather information to know how to move forward, what is you doing? Okay. All right. I feel like for some of y'all, some of y'all will be choosing to cut the situation off and just did it. Okay. Some of y'all are going to allow y'all thoughts to get the best of you, okay, and you just going to, um, some of y'all going to put everybody to fuck out and just really focus on building your coin, all right, some of y'all just like, fuck up, fuck, fuck everybody, I don't want nobody, I don't want to deal with my past, I don't want to fix nothing from the past, I don't want none of that, you know, keep your little page of love or whatever, I take the truth, but some of y'all are definitely going to be open to the truth, all right, but I do see it going to be coming mid my June, whether you open to it or not, especially if it's dealing with an air sign, Gemini Libra Aquarius. Okay. And I do see this air sign could be coming in and just really possibly expressing their love for you, okay? Um, or this air sign could possibly have a water sign that's going to come in and stir up the pot, okay, that could bring change to help you move forward, to be a catalyst to your movement forward to go handle because with this judgment card and this temperance card you definitely got some unfinished business with your past this could be an earth sign um towards little capricorn this could be an aries with this emperor card um and then this could be another leo sag with the king of wands here uh, it's definitely somebody i left in the cold somebody's going to be cutting getting cut out and it's definitely having to do with the family situation y'all this is what i have for y'all in my June, but i do see and this could also be a fire energy, y'all. This could be the energy that y'all dealing with right now, uh, going into mid month June. A lot of y'all could be. Um, I feel like the tail sag is the same thing I told Virgo. And Cal said, got a rain before the rainbow. And with this situation, some of y'all just want to move forward. Just we don't need no clarity. Just move forward. But that ain't how spirit wants you to move. You got to get out of your comfort. You're not going to find success and comfort anymore. you got to do something different, Sadie, okay? If what was working before didn't work before, if you're Sagittarius, you're just going to give up? Like, you ain't even that type of energy. You ain't giving up and you no more in the same damn sentence. Who does? What? What? Like, stop playing with me. Like, for real, for real. But somebody is definitely getting cut out. I got the five of swords here twice and two separate decks. And Honestly, Sagi, I feel like y'all just be putting on bullshit in your life. Any people, place, or thing that wants to be confrontational, or wants to fight what it is, who it is, whatever that you choose to love, do, who don't want to support, who want to go against what it is that you're passionate about, I feel like a lot of y'all are going to come out of this inner conflict mode and going to move and say the shit that you want to say and be passionate about who it is and what it is that you love and what it is you will and will not accept. Truth is definitely going to be coming out because it could start some shit about a family situation, somebody gonna feel betrayed and get cut out, okay? Or get left out. You could be dealing with someone in the past who you left out. Some of y'all gonna choose to move forward and offer this person to pay the love and maybe y'all find out that it's mutual. So like you like you ain't telling me we didn't stop each other this long and we could have had a conversation. Yes. That's gonna be coming about. Um and I do feel that for some of y'all it's gonna require for you to cut off an earth sign or an air sign or a water sign if it's fire and y'all work the damn trot way around. But somebody's getting cut off and it's only going to be two for the new new. All right? Grow new cycles, baby. I love y'all, Sagittarius. This is what I have for y'all for mid-month June. And I will see y'all in July. If you need a personal, hit me up. That information is in the description. And don't forget to go check out my girl at Natural Market. Love y'all.